Let's go peek in at Betty's first visit with her nurse midwife, Ms. Gaynor, and hear part of the preconception discussion. Yeah, very nice to meet you, and you are? I am Betty. Betty, yeah. very nice to meet you. I am so glad to see you, too. Tell me what I can do for you today. Well, we decided we want to start a family this year, and we just want to make sure that we're doing everything right. Great. Mm -hmm. That is great. That's exactly what we want people to do is come in before they're pregnant to talk to us. Let's get started on, t on talking about, is this your first pregnancy? Yeah, this would be our first. First pregnancy. Great. And what have you been using for birth control? Um, nothing right now. I okay. took birth control for a few years. All right. Let's move to health issues. Tell me about smoking. A few cigarettes a day. Okay. How many? Probably five. Five. Okay. And how about alcohol? Um, maybe one or two drinks a week. Just one or two a week? Yeah. Okay. And how about medications? Are you on any medications I need to know about? No. Okay. Any difficulties that you wish to discuss uh, besides those that I asked you about? No. I see on your questionnaire that you've been diagnosed with anemia and also that you're, you don't like eating red meat. Yeah, I don't. So what are you taking for the anemia? Um, nothing right now. Okay, so we'll be talking about that shortly. We're going to go through some of this and discuss some of the things I want you to change throughout mm -hmm. your preconception time so that your pregnancy is much easier on you. And anything else you would like to ask me or tell me about your concerns about pregnancy. And actually, I have a question. Oh, good. You know, what happens if the baby, she needs a cesarean section? Oh, well, we, we nurse midwives practice with a physician here, Dr. Bailey, and in that case, if you needed a C-section, Dr. Bailey would come in. Now, the midwife still stays with you, so we would be there also. And um, we hope that, you know, when you get pregnant, you choose to come back and see us and you'll get to meet Dr. Bailey during your pregnancy at some point, so you'll at least know him when he comes in. If he, and, and hopefully he won't ever have to come in. Okay, well Betty, now we've gone through all these questions. There's a few things that I want you to start working on. The first thing is, is we're gonna send you to our, um, what we call our community aid. She's gonna help you get started on a smoking cessation uh, system, so we can, Stop smoking before we get pregnant is so important because preterm labor, uh, babies with asthma, etc., are a consequence of continuing to smoke during pregnancy. I want to go ahead and start you on prenatal vitamins and folic acid. That's very important. Uh, folic acid really helps you have a baby with a spinal column that is intact. So spina bifida is linked to low folic acid. I also want to go ahead and start you on some iron since you are anemic. And the third thing is, is we're going to also refer you to the nutritionist here who's going to talk with you about some dietary choices to help you get your anemia solved before you get pregnant and help you make good food choices during pregnancy since we already know you don't like red meat and you're gonna need a lot of iron. Let's go ahead and see the nutritionist. Betty desired to have the healthiest pregnancy possible. She took her midwife's words to heart and immediately began to make changes in her life which would provide the best possible health of herself and her future baby. Betty understood the importance of caring for her own body first before she became pregnant. She quit smoking and began to take prenatal vitamins. She discontinued taking her birth control pills a month after that. She also met with a nutritionist to discuss dietary changes that would boost up her red blood cell count out of the anemic range. Four months later, Betty noticed that she missed having her regular monthly period. She suspected that she was pregnant. She purchased a home pregnancy test, took the test, and it came back positive. She and Dan were excited. But Betty knew she had to get an official pregnancy test done at the doctor's office to confirm her home test as well as provide necessary documentation for insurance purposes. She warned Dan not to get too excited until they knew for sure.